shit. Yeah. All right, what's up, everybody, man? So, for the people that actually watch my prediction videos, I know that I didn't post last week, and I really apologize for that, man. The reason why I didn't post last week is because I was actually recording a video, and when I'm like 85% into the video, you know, my phone died on me, and at the time, I couldn't see the video in my um, gallery, so I couldn't pick up where I left off at, so I just gave up. I said, forget it. I'll just post again next week. The vibes just wasn't the same. But, you know, the other day, for some reason, the video popped up in my gallery. But obviously, it's too late to post the video. But, you know, today, we come back at it. Um, and it goes the same as it was a few weeks ago. We are trying to get every single pick right. It doesn't matter if it takes all the way to week 17. We got 10 weeks left. Even if we don't get every pick right, we are at least going to get almost Every pick right one of these weeks, and we go go straight into the video, man. So we got the Giants versus Philly. Hmm. I'm gonna roll with Philly because Philly has been playing better ball lately. You know, um, they won against the 49ers, even though the 49ers banged up, they shouldn't have won that game. Then they come back, they compete with the Steelers, they single handedly lost to Chase Claypool, and then they actually almost came back. I heard and almost beat the Ravens. You know, so. On top of that, Carson Wentz has been playing better, and they doing all this with an injured team, you know? This week, the sad thing is they will be without Miles Sanders, so that definitely is going to impact their chances of winning. But, you know, the Giants, they're struggling too. They're banged up too. And on top of that, Daniel Jones. I don't know how he played last week, but before that, he was struggling as well. So, And their defense is not good either. You know, the Giants are not a good team, just like Philly, but Philly... It's the better team. They've been playing better. And I think Philly will sneak out of here with a win. Next, we got Pittsburgh versus Tennessee. I'm rolling with the Steelers because I just seen the way the Steelers did us, man. They came out. They shut down the run game. Um, they shut down the play action. Um, the defense and coverage in the secondary was good. If you roll out, they own it, you know. So they did good. I'm not saying that they are scouting for Ryan Tannehill the same way they're scouting against Baker Mayfield. But... You know, if they can contain Derrick Henry and make the Tennessee Titans pass and actually play good defense in the secondary, they can get out of here with a win as long as they can score some points. And they're definitely going to lose if they let Chase Claypool go off just like the last two teams did. Next, we got Cleveland versus Cincinnati. I roll with my boys. I'm rolling with my boys almost every week unless we play somebody where I know we're probably going to lose the game. You know, I won't be too, too, too biased. You feel me? But... Cincinnati, if I got to pick a team to beat my team, respectively, it's not going to be the Cincinnati Bengals, bro. They're better than they were last year. They've been playing better ball. They did just blow a 21-point lead. Let's talk about that, you know. But, you know, if I got to pick a team to beat my team, it's not going to be the Bengals. I'm rolling with my boys. Next, we got Buffalo versus New York. I'm letting y'all know straight up. If the Giants, I mean, if the Jets are playing every single week. It doesn't matter who they playing. I am never going to pick them to win because that's how bad this team is. You know, realistically, they're going to sneak out of here with at least one or two wins. You know, they may go 0-16 like we did a few years back, but the Jets are just not good. Terrible head coach. The front office don't know how to build a team. They refuse to fire the coach. They um just lost their running back, Le'Veon Bell, so they don't have a running back. They're leaning on old Frank Gore and some backup scrub. They have no realistic wide receiver threats. It's bad when Jameson Crowder is your best receiver. Then you look at the tight end position. They don't got no realistic. I don't even know who their tight end is. The old line suck. I don't even know if Sam Darnold will even play this game. He's been hurt, and the defense is terrible. Why should I pick this team to win? I know Buffalo did just lose to Kansas City. I know they did just get blown out to Tennessee, but they not about to have no problems with New York Jets. Come on, man. Let's, we, we, we know better than that, man. We know better than that. Next, we got Carolina versus New Orleans. I roll it with Carolina, man. This is the bold pick for me because I know that New Orleans is the better team. New Orleans should win this game. They're more talented, but, you know, Carolina has been playing some sneaky football, you know? Teddy Bridge would have been all right outside of the last week. Um, you know, they still got DJ Moore. Um, they got Curtis Samuel for his little plays. They are missing Kirsten McCaffrey, but the defense has been showing up a little bit. You know, they got a little bit of underrated defense. You know, long story short, somehow this team has been finding ways to win games and play good. That's why I'm confident in Rolo Carolina now. 
Next, we got Detroit versus Atlanta. I don't know who to pick for this matchup, realistically, because something ain't right about Detroit. Something is off about Detroit, but something is really off about Atlanta. But the thing about Atlanta is they've shown they could potentially win games this year offensively, you know? Defensively, they've been trash, and they just have been blowing leads. So, um, I say that to say I want to roll with Atlanta because I know they're a more talented team, and I'm just I just I'm just not confident in Detroit. I don't even know Detroit's record. Um, we can actually take some time and look that up. Detroit record NFL. Um, what, what's their record? They two and three. They two and three. So they might be two and four after this. Um, next we go on with Dallas versus Washington. Dallas is trash. Um, they've been trash since they played before they played us, but we put a 49 on them. I watched um Kyler Murray come out, do whatever you want to do against them. Um passing defense is garbage. Um, they got injuries as well. You know, they just not good, man. It's not a good team. Zeke been fumbling the ball too. Andy Dalton is just not going to get the job done, especially against Washington, because Washington is not that good of a team, but at the same time, they defense has the potential to actually show up against Dallas, believe it or not. Their defense is pretty decent, you know? So I'm really with Washington, bro. I don't even want to give Dallas a chance because they just been that bad this year. Next, we got Green Bay versus Houston. I understand Houston, they've been playing a little bit better. I think they just won two in a row, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm not picking them to beat Green Bay. Green Bay, they got Aaron Jones out there doing what he do. They got Devontae Adams doing what he do, even though he just sold me in fantasy. Um, Aaron Rodgers, even though he just put up three points in fantasy, um, you know, they go bounce back and beat Houston. Houston is just not that good of a team. Next, we got Seattle versus Arizona. I'm going to roll with, I'm going to roll with, um, I'm going to roll with Seattle because Seattle's the better team. I like Russell Wilson here. I like DK Metcalf. I don't see nobody that's going to stop DK Metcalf. And don't forget, they still got Chris Carson. They still got Tyler Lockett. I know they pass defense isn't the best, but it's not going to have to be the best against this team. All they got to do is be able to contain um, Kyler Murray, make him pass a little bit more than running, and they can win this game, even though it's not going to be an easy task. Next, we got Big Herb versus Jacksonville. I'm rolling with my boy Big Herb, man. If you don't know about Big Herb, go look him up. Big Herb is official, you feel me? And I think he's better than Justin, I mean, not Justin Herb, I think he's better than Joe Burrow. Uh, I'm going to show y'all why at the end of the season, but I think he's better than Joe Burrow. Um, but the Chargers, they have been able to win games. They just have been not able to close them out. Jacksonville, they've been struggling. It's kind of hard for them to win games because they just don't have the talent, you know. Um, Gardner Minshew really be trying, but he even be messing up at times. So they're not going to win this game. I'm low with the Chargers. Next, we got Kansas City versus Denver. Denver just beat New England, and I actually picked them in a video that I couldn't record to beat New England, believe it or not. But Denver still banged up. Remember that, you know? Drew Locke, he looked all right, but he still needs to do better. He looked pretty all right. He looked better than the stats, though. Don't get me wrong. But Kansas City, Kansas City, man, this team is real. You feel me? This team is real. We almost done, y'all. Next, we got San Francisco versus New England. I'm rolling with uh, who? New England just lost to Denver. Um, San Francisco, if they defense was playing good, I would pick them, honestly. But I think Jimmy G is going to go to New England or wherever the game is, and he's going to fold against his old team, you know? The defense is still respectable. Don't forget about that. Cam Newton. Cam Newton still, yeah, he was tripping last game a little bit, but Cam Newton still Cam Newton, you know? Bill Belichick, Bill Belichick. And when you got that, you can win any game. I'm rolling with New England. Next, we got Tampa versus Vegas. Tampa just did Green Bay dirty. The defense is good. I like Anton Winfield. I'm sad we didn't get him. Um, Rojo, all right. They got the weapons in the passing game. They got the coach. They got Tom Brady to go. Why, why not pick them against Vegas? The Raiders, you feel me? They, they, why, would I pick, why would I pick the Raiders here, you know? And then last but not least, we got Chicago versus the Rams. I want to go with the Rams because the Rams' defense has been pretty decent. They did just lose last week, and they didn't look that good. But I'm rolling with Chicago, man. I think Nick Foles is going to win this game. I don't like Nick Foles, though, man. But um, I, I actually, I'm going to pick Chicago, man. Forget it. But that's my picks, man. I really don't got an explanation for this pick. That's why I didn't say nothing, but. 
we rolling with Chicago, but that's my picks. Um, like I said, you know, some of these may be a little bit bold. Some of them may be not. I know my Browns will maybe biased to some people, but these are my picks. And we're going to get back at y'all next week with another prediction video. And if you're new to the channel, just check out some content. And if you like me, you know, keep checking out content. And I got some more content coming soon.